Joshua 20. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Say to the people of Israel, Appoint the cities of refuge of which I spoke to you through Moses, that the manslayer who strikes any person without intent or unknowingly may flee there. They shall be for you a refuge from the avenger of blood. He shall flee to one of these cities and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city and explain his case to the elders of that city. Then they shall take him into the city and give him a place, and he shall remain with them. And if the avenger of blood pursues him, they shall not give up the manslayer into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unknowingly and did not hate him in the past. And he shall remain in that city until he has stood before the congregation for judgment, until the death of him who is high priest at the time. Then the manslayer may return to his own town and his own home, to the town from which he fled. So they set apart Kadesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. And beyond the Jordan east of Jericho they appointed Bezer in the wilderness on the tableland from the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities designated for all the people of Israel and for the strangers sojourning among them that anyone who killed a person without intent could flee there, so that he might not die by the hand of the avenger of blood till he stood before the congregation. Joshua 21 Then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came to Eleazar the priest and to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel, and they said to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, The Lord commanded through Moses that we be given cities to dwell in, along with their pasture lands for our livestock. So by command of the Lord the people of Israel gave to the Levites the following cities and pasture lands out of their inheritance. The lot came out for the clans of the Kohathites. So those Levites who were descendants of Aaron the priest received by lot from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin thirteen cities. And the rest of the Kohathites received by lot from the clans of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, and the half-tribe of Manasseh ten cities. The Gershonites received by lot from the clans of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The Merarites, according to their clans, received from the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. These cities and their pasture lands the people of Israel gave by lot to the Levites, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. Out of the tribe of the people of Judah, and the tribe of the people of Simeon, they gave the following cities mentioned by name, which went to the descendants of Aaron, one of the clans of the Kohathites who belonged to the people of Levi, since the lot fell to them first. They gave them Kiriath Arba, Arba being the father of Anak, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, along with the pasture lands around it. But the fields of the city and its villages had been given to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, as his possession. And to the descendants of Aaron the priest, they gave Hebron the city of refuge for the manslayer with its pasture lands, Libna with its pasture lands, Jatir with its pasture lands, Estamoa with its pasture lands, Holon with its pasture lands, Debir with its pasture lands, Ain with its pasture lands, Jutah with its pasture lands, Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands, nine cities out of these two tribes. Then out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its pasture lands, Gibba with its pasture lands, Anathoth with its pasture lands, Almon with its pasture lands, four cities. The cities of the descendants of Aaron, the priests, were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. As to the rest of the Kohathites, belonging to the Kohathite clans of the Levites, the cities allotted to them were out of the tribe of Ephraim. To them were given Shechem, the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer, with its pasture lands, Kibzaim, with its pasture lands, Beth Horon, with its pasture lands, four cities, another tribe of Dan, El Teke, with its pasture lands, Gibbethon, with its pasture lands, Ahijalon, with its pasture lands, Gath Ramon, with its pasture lands, four cities, and out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh with its pasture lands, Gath Ramon with its pasture lands, two cities. The cities of the clans of the rest of the Kohathites were ten in all with their pasture lands. And to the Gershonites 
One of the clans of the Levites were given out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Beish Terah with its pasture lands, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishion with its pasture lands, Dabaroth with its pasture lands, Jarmuth with its pasture lands, En Ganim with its pasture lands, four cities, and out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, Helkath with its pasture lands, Rehob with its pasture lands, four cities, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Hamoth Dor with its pasture lands, and Kartan with its pasture lands, three cities. The cities of the several clans of the Gershonites were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands, and to the rest of the Levites, the Marite clans were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jokniam with its pasture lands, Karta with its pasture lands, Dimna with its pasture lands, Nahalal with its pasture lands, four cities, and out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its pasture lands, Jahaz with its pasture lands, Kedamoth with its pasture lands, and Mepha'ath with its pasture lands, four cities, and out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with its pasture lands, a city of refuge for the manslayer, Mahanaim with its pasture lands, Heshbon with its pasture lands, Jezer with its pasture lands, four cities in all. As for the cities of the several Marite clans, that is, the remainder of the clans of the Levites, those allotted to them were in all twelve cities. The cities of the Levites in the midst of the possession of the people of Israel were in all forty-eight cities with their pasture lands. These cities each had its pasture lands around it, so it was with all these cities. Thus the Lord gave to Israel all the land that he swore to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it, and they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their fathers. Not one of all their enemies had withstood them, but the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. The Acts of the Apostles Chapter 1 In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach, until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days, and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes, and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. And when they had entered, they went up to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the zealot, and Judas the son of James. All these with one accord were devoting themselves to prayer, together with the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. In those days Peter stood up among the brothers, the company of persons was in all about one hundred twenty, and said, Brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us, and was allotted his share in this ministry. Now this man bought a field with the reward of his wickedness. 
and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his bowels gushed out. And it became known to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the field was called in their own language Akeldama, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, May his camp become desolate, and let there be no one to dwell in it, and let another take his office. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these men must become with us a witness to his resurrection. And they put forward two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also called Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Jeremiah 10 Hear the word that the Lord speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, Learn not the way of the nations, nor be dismayed at the signs of the heavens, because the nations are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are vanity. A tree from the forest is cut down, and worked with an axe by the hands of a craftsman. They decorate it with silver and gold, they fasten it with hammer and nails, so that it cannot move. Their idols are like scarecrows in a cucumber field, and they cannot speak. They have to be carried, for they cannot walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither is it in them to do good. There is none like you, O Lord. You are great, and your name is great in might. Who would not fear you, O King of the nations? For this is your due. For among all the wise ones of the nations and in all their kingdoms there is none like you. They are both stupid and foolish. The instruction of idols is but wood. Beaten silver is brought from Toshish, and gold from Ufaz. They are the work of the craftsman, and of the hands of the goldsmith. Their clothing is violet and purple. They are all the work of skilled men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God, and the everlasting King. At His wrath the earth quakes, and the nations cannot endure His indignation. Thus shall you say to them, The gods who did not make the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. It is He who made the earth by His power, who established the world by His wisdom, and by His understanding stretched out the heavens. When He utters His voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens, and He makes the mist rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain, and He brings forth the wind from His storehouses. Every man is stupid and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is put to shame by his idols, for his images are false, and there is no breath in them. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment, they shall perish. Not like these is he who is the portion of Jacob, for he is the one who formed all things, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up your bundle from the ground, O you who dwell under siege. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I am slinging out the inhabitants of the land at this time, and I will bring distress on them, that they may feel it. Woe is me because of my hurt. My wound is grievous. But I said, Truly, this is an affliction, and I must bear it. My tent is destroyed, and all my cords are broken. My children have gone from me, and they are not. There is no one to spread my tent again, and to set up my curtains. For the shepherds are stupid, and do not inquire of the Lord. Therefore they have not prospered, and all their flock is scattered. A voice, a rumor, behold it comes, a great commotion out of the north country to make the cities of Judah a desolation, a lair of jackals. I know, O Lord, that the way of man is not in himself, 
that it is not in man who walks to direct his steps. Correct me, O Lord, but in justice, not in your anger, lest you bring me to nothing. Pour out your wrath on the nations that know you not, and on the peoples that call not on your name. For they have devoured Jacob, they have devoured him and consumed him, and have laid waste his habitation. Matthew 24 Jesus left the temple and was going away, when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the close of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are but the beginning of the birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation, and put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away, and betray one another, and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise, and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down to take what is in his house. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas, for women who are pregnant, and for those who are nursing infants in those days, pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath, for then there will be great tribulation such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it, for false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand, so, if they say to you, Look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, Look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But concerning that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven nor the Son, but the Father only. As were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. 
For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark, and they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one left. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant, whom his master has set over his household, to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant, whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and in an hour he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. <laughs>